So, funny story. I was just watching a movie from the 90s last night that starred a young Andrea Liebman. And then we had a Pinkie Pie centered episode. I guess it's just a Andrea Liebman weekend for me. And also last weekend, I saw the MLP movie where Pinkie Pie went a little crazy during it. And she went a lot crazy during this episode, too. All these things just fitting together just is amusing to me. And make no mistake about it, Pinkie Pie's expressions made this episode. Because the episode itself is, well, kind of predictable. It's another one of those stories that could have been resolved really quickly if the characters had just been honest with each other. And in the spirit of honesty, I feel like this should have been a Season 2 episode. I oh, no, I just feel like these two have known each other long enough that Rainbow Dash could have just said to Pinky, I really don't like pie, and Pinky would have been cool with it. Especially since Pinky said she's been giving Rainbow Dash pies for years, which calls into question the timeline of the series again. Also, Dash was just really stupid at the beginning, because she could have waited till Pinkie Pie left to throw the pie away, or not thrown the pie away at all and given it to Soren, because we know he loves pie. I bet he cried himself to sleep that night. Also, we found out what can make the Wonderbolt sympathetic finally. Crazy Pinkie Pie! <laughs> I joke, but seriously, she is terrifying. I'm just waiting for that one episode where Pinkie finally snaps and destroys everything. But until then, we can enjoy her crazy fantasies of Rainbow Dash with laser eyes, which was awesome. I saw that as the thumbnail for the video I watched. I was like, what the hell is going on here? I know it was only one sequence, but I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of fan art of Demon Rainbow Dash. Interestingly enough, she didn't have a cutie mark. I don't know why, but that just stood out to me. Oh, and yes, Pinky, Rainbow is too strong to be brainwashed. Except for that episode last season. Actually, that would have been a great way to work Starlight into this episode and have Pinky ask if she brainwashed Dash again. But I don't mind her being there, and I think the characters they did focus on helped move the story along better. I love that Applejack forgot about the party cave and then still doesn't know how to get out of it. Which makes me wonder, how did she get out of it? And of course, my shipper instincts were kicked off when I realized that the two ponies giving Rainbow Dash a hard time are the two she's shipped with the most. Looks like both her waifus are mad at her. And you gotta love Applejack's remark that she could have told Rainbow Dash to be honest. Also, what was in that pie that Rainbow made? Why was it bubbling and popping? I think some answers are just too disturbing to know. And of course, they resolve things like you knew they would, but I like to believe that Pinky's extra tight hug was her way of getting back at Rainbow Dash. So, while I don't think this was a really bad episode, it's not one of the standouts of Season 7. Huh. That makes both the not-standout episodes of Season 7 so far Pinkie Pie episodes. That's odd. Eh, hopefully they can fix that next season. And join me again when I'll share more of my pony thoughts.